The last year with LLMs has been fun, but for conversation designers like myself, you can sometimes feel like they could become an existential threat to your job. So let's chat about that. Hey, it's Pete, and today we're going to answer the question, do we even need conversation designers anymore? But first, let's look at what conversation designers do. P.S. I'm not going to look at the world before voice flow. Those were dark times filled with lucid chart, Excel, spreadsheets, Word docs. Ugh. Okay, so for brevity's sake, I'm going to distill what a conversation designer does in one sentence. Here we go. A conversation designer meticulously constructs and refines the interaction blueprint between users and AI, ensuring dialogues are coherent, context aware, and tailored to provide a smooth and intuitive conversational journey. This means pre LLM, you would do things like working out how to get a customer from A to B with just one sentence, or even better, predicting a user's intent before they said anything, creating edge cases throughout your design so that you didn't overload customers with information, and where needed, allow them to ask clarifying questions. Making sure that your training is super focused, enabling you to answer the customer questions directly. And because everything is deterministic, it means that high performing assistants are usually extremely complex, requiring large teams to maintain them. But with LLMs, that's all sort of changed. For one, you can use LLMs to handle a lot of the complex logic that you used to design out. And using retrieval augmented generation or RAG alongside an LLM means that you can easily answer edge case questions in context. Similarly, RAG can also be the backbone of all your FAQs, meaning you don't need to focus on training. This is all to say, a big part of what we have done in the past is beginning to get abstracted away. We're not going to need to sweat that small stuff as much anymore. So where does this leave conversation design as a discipline? Well, rather than designing assistance turn by turn, we'll focus on designing frameworks that agents can work within. It's the shift that'll see us change from conversation designers to agent designers. And as agent designers, here are three things that I think we'll be doing. Agent design, conceptualization, and research. So let's start with agent design. This is all about building the frameworks for an agent to work within. This will see us do things like using prompt chaining to develop flow-like functionality, managing external knowledge bases to allow an agent to access the right information at the right time, and developing personas to ensure an agent responds in a way that's both empathetic and on brand. Okay, so now let's look at conceptualization and the kind of strategy component of agent design. While we'll be designing frameworks for our agents to work within, we'll also need to think about how these frameworks fit together. This will include defining interaction models, determining when to invoke specific functions and when not to, and how an agent can best meet both the needs of the user and the business. This will require designers to think beyond the immediate thing that they're designing and consider the long-term implications, ethical concerns, and overall direction of the product development. And finally, informing the design, conceptualization, and strategy will be done through research and insights. This will be about understanding user behaviors and preferences and interpreting data and giving actionable insights to a team. And sure, we'll probably use AI to kind of augment this and we'll need to run user testing. And yes, I can already hear the collective groan of conversation designers worldwide. We'll need to read transcripts. So to answer the question, do we still need conversation designers? I guess it's a yes, but. If you want to remain relevant, then you need to start upskilling now. Start learning about prompt engineering, design, and chaining. Learn how retrieval augmented generation works, and as odd as it may sound, start learning how to code a bit. By knowing the fundamentals, you'll be able to use LLMs to generate working code for you, and that can expand what you do. So that's my take on whether we'll need conversation designers. Let me know yours in the comments. And remember, stay curious.